Hey, what is going on with you? My name is J93, and welcome back to another uh, Fast and Furious video. Hey, yes, it's gonna it's just gonna wrap up the series of just diecast vehicles. And yes, as you can see right up front, I have uh, Brian's Nissan Skyline, which I believe this is from the first Fast and Furious movie. I don't know because one again, I have not seen a single Fast and Furious movie, so so the part of me if I get some. Some of the facts wrong. So, uh, yeah, I do plan on actually, well, again, <laughs> I do plan on, like, doing a comparison with another car that I have here, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just save it for when, when it actually comes up. So, uh, yeah, this is basically just, well, this isn't 100% accurate to the movie because the movie has the rim a bit like wider well larger on the actual wheel itself and the car is actually would actually be lower well the wheel well the car would actually be lowered because it's more of a speed it's kind of having a lower center of gravity to boost speed and uh, yeah and just taking a look at detail you, you have all the decals that uh, that Brian put on his car. I mean, so you have this, and also apparently, Nissan's Nissan put their put the same on the right side. Where in America, well, American Canada, well, in Americas, well, at least North America, we sit on the left side. I don't know if Nissan actually has actually makes a skyline in America, but uh, yeah, that's something I know. Notice and uh, yeah, obviously, obviously from the bottom you can see the clear tire treads, which is consistent with the with other vehicles. It's not like the tire treads are like uh, diff or like the same across all of them. Just eyeballing it with another car that I have, but uh, yeah, this is 132 scale 2002 Nissan Skyline R134. Uh, yeah. Uh, seriously, you see all the, the the undercarriage of the skyline, and, and yeah, you do have the. It just says Fast and Furious. I don't know if any other cars actually do. Well, yeah, this is from the first one. The other car I have actually says uh, Fast Seven or something. And yes, Toyo Tires. That is an actual like uh, an actual company. Obviously, it's really it's not just made for the movies because Toyo tires, I believe, the same kind of tires that I of the car that I drive, which I'm not gonna mention what it is because everyone's gonna laugh at me of the car. And yeah, you do have the decals, and uh, yeah, and obviously the door is open like that. Obviously, this passenger you can see the, the nitro nanas tank. Oh right, well, obviously since it's a British, well. I'm going to call it bridge vehicle because, yeah, bridge vehicle tends to drive on the right side. Well, I have drive on the right side now. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I don't know if the light's picking up, but you got three pedals. I believe the gas the gas pedal is on the right, and the next to it is the brake pedal, and one all the one on the far left, that's the clutch pedal, where you push that down and then shift gears. In this case, Paul Walker, which should with his left hand. But, uh, yeah. Mirrors, and uh, yeah, you do have that, and you know, there isn't like a visible backseat, probably because you do have the rotation ge edge gears of this actual diecast. Yeah, obviously you do the pins, but uh, yeah, this is sold for six around seven dollars U.S. dollars in my local retail store. But uh, yeah, you got the GTR. I can't watch focus. Yeah, you got GTR, you got the front grill section, and uh, yeah. By lowering that, these wheels will be slightly higher up into the wheel well, and the actual rims will be wider. But obviously, you can't really complain, but if you do get the 1.4 scale, it's sl it's slightly more accurate. But then again, uh, toys can't be 100% accurate because you can't like jack up the axles and make it lower. Without like sacrificing some of the room inside the actual uh, body of the toy, 
But uh, yeah. If you want a company, there you go. Jada Toys. They got a product number. Jada Toys logo. Whole bunch of screws. If you want to fit around with that, I don't want to make me do because it just sits in there. I've tried, I've actually tried opening one of these, and this just sits inside, but uh, yeah, again, rolls very well. You can have a, you can have a wood table, like solid wood, but uh, yeah, that's going to be for uh, Brian's uh, skyline, and putting it, putting it off to the side, and coming around to the end of my video, again, this is something... Hopefully you guys don't sue me or kind of, you know, like bash me over the head because of this. For those of you who watch Fast and Furious, you, you, you guys know what kind of car this is. And yes, this is Brian's car and that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to, well, you will see the, the name of the car when I flip this over to show you the undercarriage. But uh, yeah, this is from the Fast 7 movie, and, I, and yes, I'm drop, continuously dropping hints. But uh, yeah, this is Paul Walker's car from the, from the Fast 7 movie. And you don't see him driving this for the entire movie. But that's all I'm going to say. But uh, yeah, the white here is very reflective. I know it kind of might, might actually be shining eyes. And uh, yeah, you got a Toyota logo, you got the headlights. And uh, yeah, I don't think Toyota actually makes the Supra any the Supra anymore. But uh, I think you have to get it like custom made or something. But uh, yeah, he had a nice like chrome rims or reflective rims. And uh, yeah, it says Furious Seven. And yes, this is the Toyota Supra from the Fast and the Furious Seven movie. And uh, yeah, you do the exhaust pipes. Uh, and obviously, these doors open all the way. And just, just taking a look at the actual detail itself. Again, you got a gas pedal all the way on the far right. Metal brake pedal left. It's a clutch. Again, you push that down before you shift the gears. Because I believe this is a manual car. I don't, I don't know either. Or that, or that's a really forward parking brake. Because I have, I have driven a Toyota before. At least, well, an, a stock one because obviously you can modify it to uh, give you a, certain things with your feet. But yeah, typically, well, at least the Toyota of this scale, when I drive, it actually has a parking brake right in between the driver and the passenger seat. But uh, yeah, taking a look at the detailing inside, well, you can't see it. Uh, you have nice seat backing and yeah, door closed. Obviously, both of them do open. Yeah, the inside of the door looks just like a Toyota. Yes, I do have a Toyota. I'm not going to say what kind of car it is. But, uh, yeah. You have the glove box. And, and obviously, coming to the actual review, that reveal. And here, actually, obviously, you guys probably already know. We, yeah. 1995 Toyota Supra from the final, from the Fast 7 movie. Yes, this is Paul Walker's final car in the, in Fast Series franchise. Well, Furious Fast and Furious franchise, I don't know what to call it, but yes, this is the final car. Again, I'm sorry about Butcher, a whole bunch of things. I have not seen a single Fast and Furious movie. But uh, yeah, again, reason to me for choosing this car, these cars being the like last. In a review, I'm gonna actually try and do something. Hopefully, you guys don't like sue again to me again. I don't have a Dom's charger from the Furious Seven movie, it's like the gray one that you see at the end. But I, I will be using his ice charger again. It's a wide body charger because you got the net. Yeah. Well, I mean, I couldn't recover that, but uh. Yeah, at this point, if, if if you if your parents are crying, just yeah, just, yeah, just just understand that this is is one of the saddest scenes. Well, one of the saddest scenes that uh that most men cry at. 
But, uh, yeah. Well, let me see if I can try to spread this, spread these two out. Well, something, like, something like that. But, uh, yeah. And then, I need a camera shot, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at this point. But, uh, yeah. Or, well, let's bump my camera, but, uh, But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for my for my sort of series of Fast and Furious die car, bad cast cars. Uh, anyways, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Please don't leave that much hate for this. I'm just trying to get a video that people like out. So yeah, please please don't please don't punch that dislike button too hard. It's, yeah, people feel that. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and fly her pilots.